Okay, Prince LaCroix has arranged for you to use Camarilla safe house in Santa Monica as your haven. Uh, cool, I got a... This is a safe house? Hello, LA. You're up way past your bedtime, aren't you? Hope you've slipped into something comfortable. I know I have. If you're new to town or just new to this whole radio thing, you're listening to... Well, we've got radio, we've got email. Email has... Oh boy, I have five unread emails. Password required. Alright. <laughs> Difficulty five. I get the distinct feeling I'm supposed to read this. Hey, the password to your computer is Sunrise. Keep the cash in the drawer, it's yours. I dropped you an email with my address. Come on over after you get settled. Mercurio. Okay, what is this? At your convenience, please come and visit me in my home downtown. I leave the, you this... I leave you this guide... Oh, this to guide you. Dark blood are curse. A light this verse. Such power I sense in one so young. Come find me where... The, where burns the mystical sun. M. Strauss, Tremere Regent. I'm gonna turn off that radio. We'll listen to it later. Or never. I'm not sure. Okay, email. Okay. So, one. Mercurio will contact you when you arrive in Santa Monica. Waste no time in meeting with him. Next. Uh, dang, it's big, you know, from Hung Lo Trojan Botnet. Yeah. Kilpatrick's Crime crime Pewter from Arthur Dirt Sheep Internet VTM. Looking for that lazy ass ex husband who's laid on his alimony. Blah, 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 blah. Looks like it's more spam. Oh, let's go to the previous one. Just delete the penis enlarge enlargement. We don't need that. We're good. What about this one? That might actually have useful things? I'm not sure. Okay, from Mercurio. Hey, welcome to town. Come on over to my place once you get situated. We'll talk about what you'll need to get the job done. I'm going to pick up explosives right now. Some astrolite. I should be back by the time you come over. I'm at 24 Main Street. Number four, walk to the main uh, end of the alley, and my building is the next one on the right. All right? Last one. The game begins upon is moved. All right, I'm just going to leave the rest of these. Oh, can't quit. But I can just mash escape. Okay, so I've got some EXP. Now, what can I put it into? Anything? Oh, I see. Cost five, three... Initial cost three, three. So if I want to level up intimidation, it's gonna cost six. Cost four, eight, four. Okay, so I don't have any EXP to begin with. So we're just gonna leave that. Let's see. F9. All right, money in the desk. I forgot about that. Also lock difficulty of five. There we go. Hundred buckos. Not sure if I really need the money. I'm sure I will. But like, I have no immediate use for it. So it's like, eh. Okay, so I'm betting there's no way for me to get in. I'm not entirely sure what a difficulty of five. Uh, well, I'm inside the room now. And I'm outside the room now. We do have the LA Sun. Carnival of Death. Gruesome remains found in the pier. Police baffled. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry for coughing. I shouldn't do that. All right, so we can exit Keegan Moore Moretta. Oh, and this is mine. I have no mail. Let's get out of here. You got you got some change, Mister. So, here it's not much, but I hope it helps, or I do, but not for you. Uh, I'm gonna be a dick. I'm just gonna be kind of a dick. I do, but not for you. Asshole! Onwards! Oh. I guess I do need money. I need to go get some equipment so I don't look like a complete thug. 
Like, look at this swagger. This swagger needs, like, something ridiculous and fancy. Oh, God. Well. Somebody's just wasting free blood here. I guess we should kind of just wander around. So we have tattoos, piercing, the inevitable tunnel of darkness. See if these have anything interesting. I'm just going to check around. Get very lost. Can I pull up like a map or something? I'm going to immediately just go into the sewers. Uh, I think I just saw that cop just like swing by. Okay. Well, there's medical. Can I, can I go dumpster diving? Like, what kind of vampire do we want to be? Pugilistic for sure. But I don't know about the rest. Hello? Uh, <clears throat> hmm. What time is it? <laughs> you just want to admire me in private. What are you doing? Nothing. No, nothing. Just uh, waiting for a friend to uh, get off work. He's um, a police officer. Old army buddy. He, uh, he should be bringing his dog as well. It's a, a Rottweiler. Wonderful attack dogs they are. Think you could spare a few bucks? I'm a little down on my luck right now. Uh, sure. I guess I could spare a few dollars. Uh, here you are. Uh, good luck getting back on your feet. You know that sure is a nice watch you've got. My watch? It's a quantum limited edition. Only 50 made in the world. Quite irreplaceable. It was an anniversary present for my wife. You have a nice night. I'm going to tell people what time it is. Huh. Well, I got some cash. And we should probably go follow up on this lead, seeing as we just saw a dude just, like, stumble right in. Oh, this is a fancy-looking place. Hello! Excuse me. Hello. Those mothers ripped me off. I'm dying here. Are you Mercurio? Uh, yeah. You looking for the astrolite? I'm... Oh, I can feel a draft on my fucking insides. They shanked me. The bastards. The blood ain't working no more. My head, it feels cracked. Oh, I think my eyes popped. Stay with me. What happened? I got... I went... Uh, what is this lump? Is this my rib? Oh, holy shit. My rib is poking through my side? Oh, I'm all numb. You gotta look and tell me. It's a broken bottle. Now tell me what happened to you. Goddamn chemist. Can't trust any operators in L.A. I verified him. Organization seem reliable. Guy mixes up speed. His crew sells it. Occasionally does explosives. I set up a drop. I show up at the beach with the money, right? Four of these guys, they come out of nowhere. Junky pricks. Hit me with a bat. <coughs> it feels like I got a friggin' horse kick in it. I never should have gone alone. Amateur move. I should have handled those pricks. Goddamn dirty Cali rat bastards. Those cocksuckers beat me rotten, left me for a stiff. I had to crawl to my car, crawl my ass up here. The vamp blood's the only thing holding me together. But shit, they ain't got the money, they got the astrolite. Where are these bastards? Those small-time sons of bitches live out in a dump on the beach. Four or five of them. And one's got the explosives is Dennis. Got my money too, that prick. Oh, how do I get there? Laying in a pool in my own blood and you want friggin' directions. Right, all right. Uh, down the street, in the parking garage, stairs down to the beach. On the right. <clears throat> Those better not be some of my last words. Anything else? You gotta... You gotta get it back from him. Maybe reason with him. Maybe break in. I don't know. I want to kill him. Do whatever you people do. I blew it, I know. Anything I can do to help you? Yeah, if you could... Oh, something just started leaking. I need something for the pain. I'll bring something back for you. Uh, one more thing. About the deal. I mean it. You tell anyone about this, I'm dead. I'm begging you. 
I got a way of getting people what they need. You don't say anything, I can help you out. Yeah, good to know. Goodbye. <laughs> and he is just gonna be there. I'm assuming he dies if I don't do anything. So let's pop on over to the hell uh the heaven. The helicopter? No, the, the hospital. There we go. I can word. Uh, we're going to pop over to the hospital, see if we can buy some drugs, and then fix him up? No, he's not actually a vampire. He's just a contact. Yeah? I'm assuming as such. Need something, pal? Uh, I'm looking for someone. Oh, man, wait. Say that again. Okay. I'm looking for someone. Oh, man, you... You're a vampire, aren't you? What? Vampire? What the hell are you smoking? Oh, come on. Oh, man, you are too. Don't bullshit me, man. <laughs> Just come clean, you know? I mean, oh, man. I ain't gonna tell no one. It's okay, man. I just want to talk. Uh, all right, then let's talk. Hell yeah! Oh, man, I knew it. I just, oh, jeez, I knew you were. I just could tell. I, oh, man, this is great. And, and I saw your teeth, and, and I was like, damn, it was like I could just sense you. The name's Knox Harrington. Pleasure to meet you. Oh, man. I don't like this guy. Uh, pleasure's all yours. Leave me alone, jackass. Hey, man, just because I'm a ghoul and you're some cool vampire, you don't need to treat me like crap, okay? Oh, man, I'm so agitated. Uh, just shut up and tell me what a ghoul is. Okay, calm down. Don't be such a dick. Well, the way it was explained to me, whenever a vampire lets a human drink some of their vampire blood, the human gains a little vampire power. Can heal up quick and that kind of stuff. Jeez, oh man. And they're a ghoul. Ooh, watch out. You seem to enjoy it. It's awesome! Man, after that first taste of vampire blood, it's like the best drug. Oh man, I'm telling you, it's like. Well, it didn't mess me up. It just made me feel like I was better at everything. I felt like a god just sucking on that nasty dude's wrist. Who's this nasty dude? Oh man, I really wish I could tell you, but I don't think I'm supposed to. But it's really cool to be talking to you just, well, because I don't get a lot of chance to talk to vampires. Oh man, well, other than my master. So I thought I'd just say, you know, what's up, <laughs> you know? Don't be an idiot. Of course you can tell me. Hey man, just because I'm a ghoul and you're some cool vampire, you don't need to treat me like crap, okay? Oh man. So agitated. It sounds like he's straight out of a South Park game. So what are you doing around here? Look, I probably shouldn't tell you this, but I'm on a secret mission for my master. Well, hey, ha, it's been great talking to you, man. But I better be going. Oh, man, you know, important stuff to do. <laughs> God, his eyes stare into my soul. Has anyone ever told you you're an idiot? Hey, man, just because I'm a good... <laughs> uh, of course I do. Ghouls are lowly creatures. I, uh, I, uh... Screw you! I don't need this. I just thought it'd be cool to talk to you, but I guess not. You guess right. All right, buddy. Go your own way. Screw you. I'm going to the hospital. If I can. Hello? That is... These are some NPCs. Hi, can I buy drugs? Please, wait your turn and you'll be seen. Okay. Uh What's Please the wait your turn and you'll be seen. Okay. It's not my problem. I'm assuming <laughs> not I will just end up waiting forever. No, no. I don't know you. I'm going to just do this. Did you hear me? Take a seat. The doctor will get to you when he can. But they need someone like me there. All right. Go on. Yeah. It's a nice night out, huh? Excuse me? Eh, probably not. What about this one? Uh, uh, please, get a doctor. I'll see what I can do. Ah, uh, my insides. It hurts so Hi. bad. 
I'm sorry, sir, but you're going to have to wait outside like everyone else. No exceptions. There's a girl over there, and I think she's going to die. See here now. I'm the only physician here at the moment. We got twice as many people as usual waiting for treatment. I'll look at her as soon as possible. Uh, Try to talk to her. Keep her awake. But... I've got a man in there with a bullet in his head. My nurse paged Dr. Roberts a half hour ago. He'd be here any time. Till then, stay with your friend and make sure she doesn't go into shock. I must go. Okay. What time is it? Hi. I'm a doctor now. (laughs) Can someone call my grandma, please? Stay with me. I can save you. What is going on? I've I'm so lost right now, and her three D model is breaking hard. Uh, so I could make her into a ghoul. Ghoul. <laughs> God, this animation is. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, her neck uh, broke so hard. Uh, 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 <sighs> you all right? You mm, boy, who uh, who are you? Oh, what did you do? What did you do to me? I simply wanted to help. But you did something. I, I kissed your wrist. I can feel it inside of me. What did you do? Uh, let's see. Look, forget about this and don't say anything. You'll be fine. You. I feel like I know you. Like you've always been here. I really must be going now. Creepy. Drugs? Drugs? Any drugs? No drugs. Okay, so apparently I've gained humanity from this. Hey dude, I fixed the girl. I told you. I will get to you when I can. Please take a seat. If I could only rest for a second. What else do we have in here? Drugs? Drugs? Med- hello? Okay. Medication? Aggressive feelings. Well... Let's see, administration has... Hello. Computers for Grandma. Uh, let's see, what do we have? Email personnel. Uh, my hacking feed is terrible. We have... <laughs> okay, we've got phlebotomist P, Bill E... Oh, so we can learn more about these characters, but I really don't want to type any of that out. We're just going to skip that. So you need to use books. Okay, to begin, put the foot pedal on the desk and push the power button on the metal box. This is the house for your friend computer chip. The enhanced electronic pixie that can do 4.8 billion calculations per second. Wow, that's fast, chip. Do you see the image on the magical computer window? Reading this will boost your computer knowledge. Ow. I am smart. Smart. Any drugs? Drugs! Pill bottle. What about other drugs? Difficulty of four. Uh... I'm pretty sure blood buff's not gonna work here. Aha! Did work here. Okay, so we've got morphine. And more drugs. Or, not more drugs, more dumb computer stuff that I don't think I can do anything with. Because I am kind of bad. Patience. Well, my computer skill did go up. So, yeah. Hippo... Yeah, uh, hip, hip, Hippocrates. Uh, enter. So, we've got HPO. Ruptured organs, lacerations, internal bleeding, critical. Uh, A... Patrick. Severe tinea infection compounded by untreated herpes simplex 2. D. Marsh. 
Frequent bouts of slec uh, sexlexia. Okay. And, and Barber. Chronic Marbo Pepperitis. Uncurable. Well, we're leaving. I mean, we've already got what we wanted, which was hella drugs. And we've got more to this area, but I can't do anything about it. I wonder if I could, like, lock... No. Uh, I don't know if I have enough blood. Nope. But that was an easy lock to pick. All right. Time to continuously raid this hospital because apparently it works out in my favor. Oh, there's a guard there. A guard or somebody associated. Yeah, I saw somebody here. And I figure we can probably get like a bit of a... There was a blood bank downstairs. Whoops. I'm not here. This not area here. is for hospital staff only. But I belong here and I need your keys. You can let yourself out. Thanks again. Oh. Oh wait, I'm frenzy. Uh oh. That's bad. Oh. Man, do I really frenzy that easy? Where's my humanity at? Well, that was quick. Oh, and his body is gone. Okay, so because I was that hungry, I've done it. Well, I had extra humanity there. Maintenance room key. Alright. Yeah, I forgot to drink. I didn't realize that, like, being that low on, uh, available blood would actually make you frenzy. Uh, let's see. Hey, Jason, can you reset Malcolm's password for me? Once it's set to Panacea. I did save recently. Wait, so is there just like a cop here that's like super pissed at me? I'll probably reload just because the frenzy seems more inconvenient than anything else. But uh... Huh? Oh, I see. The dialogue option. Those dialogue options use up your blood powers. Oh. That actually makes... That makes plenty of sense. Yeah, I'm still learning the game. So obviously, uh, some of these things are going to be kind of new to me. Well, let's go back and give the one guy our, uh, the morphine so he doesn't die. And then, yeah, we'll see about refilling my, my blood. Well... The cop doesn't seem particularly pissed at me. So the question is... Oh god, where am I? I'm already super turned around. We had the hospital there. Where's the... What? Where did I come from? Because that didn't come from there. Uh... Bleh. I need a map. So I was... Over here? So we got the... Doomsayer. Am I on, like, the opposite side of the hotel? No. no. Of the soul is pandemic. There is no hiding your true face to the judge of soul. Okay, only the ones with the red dot in the front use blood. Gotcha. Because I thought this was the entrance I used for the hospital, but... No, that's the asylum. So, yeah, we're on the, we're on the opposite side of... The hotel. I got it. I was wondering why I was lost. Okay, uh, let's see. So here we are. Oh, blood bank. Downstairs. I gotcha. Yeah, so we're, we'll go fill up. 
But I want to do... See, there is a cop that is actually after me. Okay, so let's just go. I'm just gonna go back. Uh, back to this one. We'll go use the blood bank. Then I'm gonna go with the other guy. Uh, just because I hate to lose my humanity this early on in the game. And yes, I'm going to be using time travel powers here. Look, I, it's just a heretofore unknown vampire ability that I have. Okay, difficulty of nine. A diggity dang. Difficulty of three. You next up for the needle? Hmm? Your donation could save a life, you know. Oh, but isn't it a little late for altruism? I don't think you're here to give blood at all. I don't buy it, Jack. I bet you're here to take blood. Am I right? You offer it? Right down to business. None of this pretend I don't drink blood shit. Very refreshing to find a decisive customer. I respect that. So, what'll it be? How much? If you have to ask. Tell me what you got. Okay, $99 for a blood pack. But, whatever. I mean, I'm robbing this the rest of this hospital anyway. Okay, so we should probably use one of these blood packs. Seeing as we're here. Wow, that is not worth much. What I want to do is feed on that cop. Okay, so let's quick save again. Get in here. The main problem is spotting the guy before he spots me. This area is for hospital staff only. Wow, okay. Long here, need your keys. Thanks again. Okay, so now let's feed on him without killing him. There we go. And now he's in a daze. Perfect. That's what I needed. Let's see. One problem is ugh, I'm going to have to be using blood buff like left and right here just to get some of these open. Unless I should probably go get my my skill up. Now this is no, that's just a physics object. There's no point in opening this up, I guess. Oh, no, so there is. Okay. That drops down a little bit further. Because that gets me access to a bunch of things. Oh, there's also a... There's this here. I'm assuming I do not have this. No, I most definitely don't. Okay, well, how many skill points do I have? I got four experience. I feel like putting a point into security is a good idea. Because lockpicking is handy so far. And I'm gonna- I'm gonna be doing a lot- What is going on here? Alright, so you're just gonna be there. I- Can you pickpocket people in this game? Also, he's just going to be there forever, isn't he? Well, that's unfortunate. Uh Oh boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, there was a pass in the break room. Uh... Crap? What? What? Uh, 
Okay. There we go. So anyway, he is back to being incontinent. Uh, well, incontinent. He is back to just being being a husk, and I can work on things. Medical safe. And now that I'm looking at it, security camera right there that I have just uh, rolled substances. And we've got cameras on both of those, but maybe they don't matter? Okay, so this is the one I want to look at. Okay, reset Malcolm's password for me. Once it's set to Panacea, there we go. Another new ability. Very true. Oh, hey, can I just turn these off? Maintenance room key. Okay, password failed, and I'm pretty sure I can't do this. Yeah, no. Okay, so we don't know his password. We also... Oh, wait, no, we did get the maintenance room key. Let's see. We very much do not have the, uh, the password and or key for that. I'm just going to brashly open this one up and we'll see what happens. Probably not going to be able to. I think I might have to come back once I'm, like, better. Oh, uh, is this the Panacea one? Nope. Not this one. What was the, uh... This... What was the computer for? Or the, the password for that we got? You Talk can let him. yourself out. Thanks again. Okay, so he's still mildly brain controlled. Okay, what is it? Malcolm's password. He wants it set to Panacea, so we actually don't know. Because I have no idea which one of these is Malcolm's PC. Neither worked? And it's not going to say, like, Malcolm on any of these doors, is it? Well, I mean, honestly, I already got what I needed. So I should just come back later. Instead of spending forever trying to figure out exactly... Let's see, you were in his office earlier. Oh! Dr. Malcolm downstairs. That makes sense, actually. Yep, Dr. Mal Malcolm. Okay. I was hoping it would be one of those PCs upstairs so we could get to the controlled substances, but that's fine. Anyway, email. Okay. Tonight. Malcolm, you're free tonight. I thought you could swing by my apartment after your shift. Still make house calls, don't you, doctor? I need something that needs to be checked out. Paige. Let's see. I think she's suspicious. Do I really need to ask twice? We don't have to do anything if you don't want. I really do need some help studying for my anatomy test. Please, Paige. I guess I'll see you around five. I'm really glad you finally decided to come over. And if you want want me to show you my appreciation, you just have to ask. And on your way home, Malcolm, do you think you'll be able to get a day off next week? My mother's coming into town on Thursday. Brought a new mattress and some new curtains for the guest room. And do you think you can pick up some donuts and orange juice on the way home for breakfast? So, dude's cheating on his wife. Because four is from... Trina and all the previous ones are not. Okay, we've already done the rest of this. Okay, well. Okay, well this time the uh no one is mad at me. Hmm? Just passing just through. Okay. Lovely. So we don't have to worry about a tag along. Maybe there's actually something you can do with her, but uh Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna be scared the flood's gonna dip in the netherworld and forget about his time limit again. Do I actually have a time limit or is it just purely the like frenzy limit? Ah damn, did you die on me? 
Bought some morphine. Hold still. Oh. Oh, holy Christ. I needed that. Hope that helped. Goodbye. A gain humanity. I'm almost at maximum. Uh, let's see. And I also gain some extra stuff. I'm probably going to keep putting points into uh, lock picking, maybe? I don't know. Okay. Well, I'm sure there's more stuff for me to do, but we might as well go for the Astrolite. Uh, let's see. Are there any, like, major points of no returns or time limits that I should keep in mind with this game? Because, like, that is one of those, like, distinctive concerns that I always have. It's like, I don't know. There's a lot of shocking things in my time on the force, but that pier, that's the kind of thing that makes you lose your faith in humanity. I gotta say, it's the second worst thing I've ever seen. Poor bastard down there is torn in two. By the looks of it, you'd think someone tied him to two horses and raced him in opposite directions. What could you have possibly seen that was worse than what's down there? It was about three years ago, up in Malibu, found this guy on the beach. Looked like, I don't know, an enemy attack. Shark bite? No, I seen shark bites. This was something different. Like whatever killed him, he knew he was doing. The head was missing, the hands were missing. And, and there were these huge slashes. But Who's that voice bullshit. actor? Bullshit. No, no. Guy was literally slashed to ribbons. The worst part was I was waiting for the meat wagon. Someone was watching me. I swear on my badge. The quieter cop, I recognize the voice actor. Just gotta suck it. <laughs> Maybe it was a werewolf. Woo! All right, all right. Or a vampire. Woo! Get it. See, this is why you didn't get invited to Hernandez's wedding today. The that cop. That voice actor. Full cast. That sounds super familiar. Uh, the thing is, it's just like a random cop. Which, like, good luck finding. Smiling Jack. Wait, shit. John DiMaggio is... Bender. So, Smiling Jack straight up was Bender. You weren't kidding about that. That's awesome. Okay. Aw. Oh. Uh... I can't do Steam... Ah, man. If any of you guys want to see if you can find it... Yeah, I couldn't hear him through the rain, but like... He sounded like a voice actor that got big after this. P probably? Wait. He didn't ask for this. Oh, you're right! It's, uh... It's the voice actor for, uh... You're right! It's the voice actor for, uh, what's his face from Deus Ex. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, Elias Tufexis. Yeah, uh, he was the voice actor for Adam Jensen. That's where I recognize the voice from. It's, it's the voice actor, voice actor for Jensen. Makes perfect sense. Hello. Up there, through that chain link gate and up those stairs. Oh, what? Those men you are looking for. Oh. Thanks, bye. Alright, so up there. Gotcha. What about everybody else? And actually, Deus Ex Human Revolution wasn't, like, that far off, honestly. Oh, uh, this is one hell of a place here. Because this is a 2004 game. Holy shit. Games have come a long way since 2004. I guess it makes sense. Like, the, the quality leap from one console generation to the next is kind of nuts.